So here is a set I did recently on one of my regular ladies. Um, so usual thing. Prep, prime, remove, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm just applying a thin, clear base. Um, again, this is my regular lady about the separation. No need to comment. I've, spe um, I've got permission from her doctor and her specialist at the hospital. It's fine. And these actually look a hell of a lot better than they did when she first started coming to me. So on the pinky finger, I'm just coming in with Rosy Peach. And this is from the HD collection. This nail is going to be entirely nude, so I'm creating shape, structure and everything while I'm working. No design and capping, just coming straight in fully with a rosy peach. Then moving on to the middle uh, ring finger. Again, I'm applying that thin colored base and then I'm gonna come in with that icy blue color. I honestly can't remember what it is. So I will write in the description below. This is from, oh, I wanna say like the Atlantis collection or something from Hazel Dixon, the blue collection. It is the most stunning blue for winter and Christmas nails. I think everyone kind of needs it. So I'm using this as a design color. I'm just pretty much just painting with it just to create a full color nail. And then I will cap this nail in clear. Then we've got another nail where I'm just using that rosy peach. So again, another full cover pink nail here. And just going back and capping that ring finger now. And what a surprise, another nail of full cover pink. So again, just coming in with my cover pink colour and creating a full nail using that.
so I haven't used any glitter in this set oh my god <laughs> I know I'm feeling ill right um so once these are all filed in I'm then going to come in with the design work so on one of these nails I'm going to create like a cable knit sweater design but I'm going to do um like a parter nail with it so I'm going to come in with my white gel polish um, and I'm gonna create this kind of uh, like little mountain looks like a little white, white mountain doesn't it so I'm going to do two coats of my gel polish um creating this white base Then I'm just adding a couple of crystals, and these are Swarovski Crystal in Crystal Shimmer. Um, I think they're SS9 and 5 there. And then I'm top coating all of these nails. Some of them are high shine and some of them are matte. And then coming in with this gorgeous blue pigment and this is nebula from the glitter fairy and i'm just burnishing this in to the still warm tack free top gloss and then double top coated those pigment nails and then coming in with my detailer brush and i'm using hd collection um, nail art uh, the gel art gel in Casper and I'm going to create that cable knit sweater design on this nail so with the cable knit sweater designs um, I think the best thing to do just google cable knit sweaters and that will give you an idea of designs to have a little play with I tend to resort to the same ones every year um, but yeah if you google you can get an idea of like the different designs and kind of go from there and you just incorporate loads of different bits um, and then you end up with really cute cable knit sweaters So when I'm happy with the design, I'm just sprinkling over clear acrylic powder and then I'm doing a double cure and then just getting rid of any excess acrylic there. Then I'm going to create some snowflakes on the blue nail. So again, using my art gel um, and creating snowflakes randomly across this nail.
I just smudged that a little, so I tried to repair it. You can't tell when it's finished. Um, and you can either use glitter or you can use acrylic. In this one, I just used acrylic, um, so it's got like the uniform flocked effect across all of the nails. And then I just did these super cute like little dot designs. So make sure as you're doing these dots that you really lift the dotting tool up away from the nail. Otherwise you'll get like a little string of gel joining the dots. I just randomly popped them on wherever I wanted. Um, there was no plan, no pattern, just random length, little dot lines basically coming down the nails. And then again, getting that flocked textured effect. And then when we're all done, just applying some cuticle oil and ta-da! So I hope you enjoyed this set. I really enjoyed doing these. They're just a really cute, super wintry, yummy design. I really like them. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!